Hello everyone, today I'm going to be telling you how to pass your SEC plus 701 exam, telling you what I did to pass, and step by step what to do, what I recommend, and any helpful tips uh, that I can give you to help you pass your exam. So it's been a while since I made a video, but I have made one similar to this in Network Defense Essentials, but today we're going to be going through SEC plus 701 and what I recommend for you. So first off, we're going through a couple websites that I recommend. Um, first off is rep out practice questions. So here I have Udemy.com and their 701 practice questions. So here they have for $45 you can do six practice questions, which is, sorry, pr six practice tests, which would be great, lots of variety, and really getting used to that CompTIA wording. Um, which is really a big part of the tests. Um, CompTIA is known for word playing their questions, um, you know, really to get into the, the student or the tester's head um, to maybe throw in a couple words there that will get you to think two answers or maybe get the wrong answer. So it's designed to where if you really know the answer or you really know that topic, that one answer should really pop out based on what they said. So that's really one issue people have with the CompTIA tests or why they fail is because the wordplay on the tests gets them. So here, Udemy, 91 questions per six test. That's great, um, really rep through them. And then if those are not enough, I would recommend going online anywhere. It just really rep out those practice questions and get to know the wording and the questions. So um, I also have here CBT Nuggets. It's a, more of a video course with one practice exam at the end, but this allows you to um, rep out the videos and gives you like a basis of what it's talking about. So when you're reading the questions and you relate to the videos or whatever you were using to study, that those keywords of like what the answer will be will stick out. Um, so use that video of CBT Nuggets to get that basis of understanding and hey, it might be this answer, how can we narrow it down from this? So also the last website I have here is the CompTIA. It is a 601, but it is the, all the acronym list for 601, which really helped me personally when I was rip, ripping through all of my practice exams or my practice tests. Whenever I had acronyms that I didn't know I would pull up this list and I would try and figure out what does this acronym mean and how can I learn it like what does what does it stand for and stuff like that because generally they're gonna be pretty straightforward reading them so I do this look at it what it means and then I help decide my answer from there when the practice exam um, so obviously you're not gonna have this during the exam but when you're in practice mode or whatever practicing uh, I would use this to help you get an understanding of the acronyms because again CompTIA likes to wordplay throws in lots of acronyms and you're not gonna get that instructor assist or whatever it's gonna be up to your discretion to figure out how to pass this and what does that mean so if you can really understand a lot of these acronyms they're generally pretty straightforward and what they mean so that's a pretty huge thing what I did personally to pass SEC plus 701. And the last website I'm going to recommend is going to be examtopics.com. And what I'm going to do here is um, the SEC plus, actually the CompTIA tests are all down right now for some reason. But um, if you were, if this ever pops up again, going to 701, the questions were very worded very well, I would say. Um, almost, I wouldn't say exact, but how they were worded were very similar to what you're going to see on the test, and just in general, they're really good. Um, so this is probably my number one recommendation for passing Sec Plus. But for the last one, it's going to be the performance-based questions on Sec Plus. So what that means is. Um, there's going to be like essentially like almost like a lab, a small lab, or maybe like a drag and drop or where you have to look at something and tell me 
what it is or tell the test what it is and those PBQs or performance based questions are going to be worth a large chunk of your uh, points so I really would focus on the PBQs and, ho and hopefully shoot for around a 60% 60 percent 60 70 percent on the multiple choice questions while hopefully getting a majority of those PBQs right and that shoots you right around for that 750 plus range so that would be my recommendation for Psych Plus 701. So that is how I passed and what I recommend you to do to pass the Psych Plus 701 exam.